Hi, I'm Ben Gaines with Adobe Analytics Product Management. In this video, I want to walk you through a couple of changes that we made to the way that you work with custom date ranges in Analysis Workspace. These changes will be available as of January 21st, 2016. And there's nothing you need to do to turn them on. They'll be uh, in, the, in the product by, uh, by default. Custom date ranges, if you haven't worked with them, are a really nifty way to do things like date comparisons in Analysis Workspace. Uh, custom date ranges along with uh, pre-built date ranges show up here on the left. If you So you have your dimensions, your metrics, your segments, and then down at the bottom you have your time ranges or your date ranges. Uh, when you build a custom date range, it will show up here. Um, this has been in Analysis Workspace since the product was released in September 2015. Um, I'm not going to walk through creating a custom date range because we have another video that does that already uh, that you can look for on uh, on the Analysis Workspace playlist on the Adobe Analytics channel on YouTube. Um, but I do want to walk through uh, uh, these two changes that we made. Essentially, the changes are that custom date ranges now show up and are treated as date presets in the calendar. And this is only in Analysis Workspace. They won't affect the presets in reports and analytics or ad hoc analysis, but uh, I can come in here and open up my calendar. And uh, previously, custom date ranges were, were, were used only as draggable elements here where you would put them in a table behind the calendar. Uh, now with this release, these uh, date ranges show up in the list of presets. Uh, so I've got a bunch of uh, additional uh, choices here that aren't in my normal uh, reports and analytics calendar for my presets and that's because these are date ranges that I created like 45 day rolling window or last uh, last 14 days I actually can't remember if that's a built-in preset but um, here's one that's uh, going from six months ago to three months ago and that's a custom uh, these are all custom date ranges so I'm going to uh, go down and um, choose one just to show you what that looks like and I'll choose year to date and I've set this up as a custom date range. Uh, I can see that it's rolling, the start date is rolling yearly because I don't want it to uh, change until the beginning of 2017. And the end date is rolling daily because it's, it's year to date. And so I can uh, run that and uh, that date range is applied to my project and I can see that that is now, um, that is now my date range. The advantage of this is that it's just much easier for me to select date ranges that matter to my business. If I have date ranges that aren't in the standard presets for Adobe Analytics, um, in the past I would have had to manipulate the calendar uh, every single time. And uh, this just makes it easier. I can come in here, I can type in the uh, date range that I want and uh, select it and, and apply it to my, to my project. Makes it much easier to work with dates. The other, even uh, potentially even easier way to work with dates is that these uh, these these date ranges and and uh, by the way this time uh, section here includes both the standard built-in date ranges and your custom date ranges they're they're uh, commingled there um, these items are now draggable and droppable onto the calendar and that will change your date range as well so I'm going to go back to what my date range was before. And I can come here and I can take year to date and just drag it all the way over. And you'll see now there's a drop zone uh, here on the calendar. And if I drop it, then sure enough, now my date range is year to date. And it shows me the date range that, that is uh, implied by that year to date um, uh, time range that I've just dragged and dropped. So uh, again, much easier now to work with custom date ranges and just a lot more that you can do with them. To, uh, to control the dates and the, the usage of time in your analysis in Analysis Workspace.